Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode. We've been really busy on the allotment the past week so we will give you a quick little tour just to show you what we've been up to but we'll also be planting out a gooseberry to train as a cordon and my dad will be busy sowing parsnip, beetroot and carrots and planting out his broad beans too. Right, I'm um, going to be sowing some seeds in this uh, prepared bed. Now I've raked it to a fine tilth. It's not so much of a fine tilth, but it'll do, I think. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to sow, sow a one row of parsnips in here. Um, the variety is white gem. We're only going to do one row because there's only two of us that like it in the family. I've sown them close to the path because when we harvest them, it'd be like winter time. And if it's really muddy, we can just stand on the path and dig them out. Next row, that one there, I'm going to do one row of beetroot. Um, only one row because there's only me that likes it in the family. Um, that's going to be the good old bolt hardy. Uh, next two rows going to be carrots. They're going to be Autumn King 2. Um, from what I read on the packet, it's an, it's an early variety. I didn't know there was an early variety of Autumn King 2. Um, but those are the only carrots we've got. Right, um, all you do most seeds will go into, uh, well, you know, you do a drill, but the parsnip is going to be about half an inch or 1.2 millimetre, no, 1.2 centimetre, sorry. Um, most seeds do go in that deep. It's a little bit tricky. If, if it says quarter of an inch, a bit tricky getting a quarter of an inch drill in. Anyway, I always put them in about half an inch deep. So all you do, just scrape your bamboo along there, get a nice little drill there. And then really you just pop your seeds in cover them up, water them, and that's that. Right, where are we? White gem. These are this year's seed. It's always best to use fairly new parsnip seed. Um, the other seeds you can use from previous years and they should be okay. They're quite big, the parsnip seeds as well. So, as I say, sprinkle them in. It's quite good because you actually see these. Got a few more. You do get quite a few in a packet. And then you just go down the row and just cover them up. And that's that, a good water, and that'd be that. They will take, um, they do take some time to germinate the parsnip seeds, but um, then obviously I'm just going to carry on and sow the other two. Thank you. 
I don't think a fruit garden would be complete without a gooseberry bush or two. Now I actually have two gooseberries over on the old plots and they were planted about seven years ago now but before then I didn't have a clue what a gooseberry was, what it tasted like um, and it's safe, safe to say that I am quite addicted to them now. They are absolutely delicious. So I knew that I had to have gooseberries on the new plot but what I've done is I've gone out and bought two new gooseberries um, because of a very special reason. Now, when we went to River Cottage last year for my dad's birthday, when we were looking around the vegetable garden and the fruit garden, and we came across the gooseberries, which they grew as cordons. And it's not only a way of saving space, but it also makes it easier to pick them because as we all know, gooseberries can be horrible to harvest. They've got these spikes and these stems that are just absolutely hurt when you pick them and you're often just left with scratches on your hands um so yeah it's easier to pick them you also save space and it's supposed to provide a better harvest as well so i thought i'd try that on the new plot and um, which means that i'm not using my old bushes because i grew them as bushes they are just a big mass of twigs um, and i think it would be a lot easier to buy new ones so i can prune them and train them when they were young. Now I was careful when I chose my two gooseberries from the garden centre because I was looking out for two strong stems which I could train. Now this one actually has three stems on it but what I'm going to do is I'm going to prune away this one to leave these two stems here which I can train upwards. Um, obviously I need to build a frame so I can attach these stems onto them and allow them to grow upwards with a little bit of help um, but yeah I'm pretty excited to, to see what they turn out like. I've got one here and one the other side of the archway and what I've done is I've chosen two different varieties. Now they are both Hinon Maki but one is green and the other one is red. I've never tried a red gooseberry before. I've heard that they're meant to be a little bit sweeter um, so yeah I'm really looking forward to trying that red one and just looking forward to see how they turn out. So what I'm going to do first is just going to prune this one by picking the two strongest stems and then pop it in the ground and what I will do in a week or so when I have a little bit of spare time I will make a frame for them to grow up. Just about plants and ball beans. Um, the variety is Aquadolce Claudia, which is um, it's an early one. You can plant it in November or very early in uh, the following year. Um, I usually start them off in the greenhouse because we planted them before, or sowed the seeds before, and we have trouble with the mice at the allotment. So I start these off in the greenhouse, harden them off, and then bring them up. Usually I'm bringing them up a little bit early, but it was very wet last, last month. Right, um, I usually put them just over a plant, plank's width like that, which is about 14 inches, and about eight inches or 20 centimeters in between each plant. Right. Well, as you can see, we've been pretty busy on the plot, haven't we? 
Well, I've been digging, haven't we? Yeah, that's a fair all, bit of digging. All we seem to have been doing, really, digging. Yeah, the trouble is we got a lot of tufts of grass because where we didn't have time, or where I didn't have time to do it last year. Got so a bit got out of hand, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, but we're getting there. And what we have been doing is obviously digging a bit, planting that bit up, haven't we? Yeah. So yeah, we've been prioritising yeah. bits, looking at our plan, seeing what's going to go in next, yeah. and then trying to dig that area yeah. ready. We've moved a few things, um, haven't we, over from yeah. your plot? Yeah. Um, the rhubarb, um, you plant some new rhubarb there. Yes. And put your herbs in there. Yeah, it's all, it is, it is slowly coming together. Yeah. Like we're getting the main structure there, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. But um, as you know, we planted the potatoes in the last video. You sown. Carrots, parsnips. Beetroot. Beetroot. Yep. And yep. you planted out your broad beans. Yep, just got those in. And we've started getting the fruit in. So obviously the two gooseberries went in to grow as cordons. Yeah. And you want to put your... Raspberries. raspberries across the top don't you they've yeah. got going fairly soon because they're also starting to grow yes. aren't they starting to bud and then we moved the four black currants over as well that yeah. was quite a job wasn't it yeah yeah because <laughs> the roots the roots are like that aren't they, they were big. that round yeah. that deep managed to get quite a bit of earth with it as well yeah. Didn't we? so. so yeah all the fruits go in along the back edge there yeah so it's going to be quite nice yeah and um, what else have we done um you've got your globe artichoke in oh over yeah there, move the globe artichoke over it's it's only small. It actually hasn't grown that well over on my old plot, so hopefully it'll grow better then. Of course it will. <laughs> nice bit of soil. We hope. <laughs> Looks nice though, doesn't it? Yeah, it Just does. Just hope the weeds don't come through too quick. Yeah. I, no think, doubt they will. I think we've dug about three quarters of it now, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, just got a little bit there, hasn't it? And yeah. A little bit there as well. Yeah. Um, but like I said, we've been prioritising so areas, haven't we? Yeah, the next one we've got to do is put the onions in down there, haven't we? To yeah. the edge of the round. Onions are next. Bit. Yeah. And I want to sow some poppies yeah. and plant some gladioli out as well. But that's going to go here, so we just need to go back a little bit there. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, it's all going to be dug, isn't it? Yeah. And of course, you want to get your move your shed. Yes, that's the so. next job to do. Move the shed over. We just wanted to to get things planted out, didn't we, before yeah. the shed came yeah. over? Yeah. Because that's um, that's not as important, is it? Well, no, really? no, no. That's right. No. Well, we should be in the next few days. You should be able to get the rest of it out, shouldn't we? Yeah. And then hopefully about a week's time, move your shed. Yeah. We're actually hiding one of the, the newest features of our plot. What's that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can't yeah. see it very well, can you? No. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. So you can walk around it now. It's quite yeah. nice. But, but have to be careful with me turfs. <laughs> I mean, just put them down. Yeah, you oh. laid this down today. Sorry. It's going to look nice, though, when it's all finished. Yeah. We you can put like anything in. Yes. There. So we've got the apple tree from my old plot and then we're gonna we're gonna underplant it with bulbs, aren't we? Oh yeah. So like yeah. daffodils yeah. and tulips yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. and crocus and things yeah. like that. But obviously we'll be doing that in yeah. November when you can plant the bulbs this out. This was only moved a few days ago, wasn't it? Well, and yesterday, yesterday, was it? Yesterday, oh, yeah. Time flies. So mm, I don't um, know. I'm a bit worried know. about it. So the blossom might <laughs> fall off, mightn't it? But um, and we had hopefully to, it'd be okay. We had to prune there were some branches down yeah. here, weren't they, which yeah. were like out here, so yeah. they had to go. Would have been a bit low, wouldn't it, with the old yeah, wheelbarrow? Yeah. Like yeah, that. we would have had to have limboed so, under it. Yeah. As it is now, that bit's going to hit me. <laughs> I really like it though. I think it's a really nice feature. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, we've got the herbs there and the rhubarb and then we're going to put herbs here and then another rhubarb there. So it's going to be a little bit of symmetry, which I quite like. It's going to look nice. Yeah. It looks very nice. But yeah, I think that's about all that we've done, isn't yeah. it? We have been slowly so. cracking on with yeah. it. Yeah. But yeah, I think that's about it. I think we're going to head home now and have our yeah. supper getting a bit late i think everyone else has gone from the site so it is <laughs> five is it, to is six it? five oh to gosh. six I don't go. we're gonna have to go <laughs> right thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time